What's up, everyone? Today, I want to talk about privacy and anonymity in the cryptocurrency world. And first, you might be wondering, who really cares about that? Well, some reasons you might care is if you want freedom and sovereignty over your, your coins. Um, and for example, if you live in a country where governments might take your money during times of war or financial collapse, um, you might really value having total control and privacy of how you use your money. And also, if you just want to purchase stuff online without people snooping and knowing um, what you bought and for what amount. And so just a quick definition. Um, being anonymous means that your identity is hidden. Being private means that what you purchase and the amount of it is hidden. So why not just use Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin falls short on this. Even though with your public address, no one really knows um, who you are because it's just a long string of integers and um, characters, except for maybe exchanges or like proof of per or point of purchase where they um, make you sign up before you can buy coins. Um, but even then, first of all, all transactions are recorded publicly on the blockchain. And so people can analyze the blockchain and use something called transaction graph analysis to bundle together addresses, even though you can make a ton, um, to eventually like make a group of identity to see who is potentially, um, or what transactions are potentially bundled together with one entity. Also, since it's peer-to-peer, -peer, um, your IP addresses can potentially be logged because you need to send out a transaction saying, hey, I want to send this amount to this address. And you broadcast it to the network. So if nodes are listening and recording, they could potentially get your IP address, get your location, and find more information about you. So one way of solving this is using tumblers and mixers, which is basically taking a bunch of co different coins from different sources, um, mixing them together, and splitting them into separate outputs. So you can't know um, which outputs came from which inputs. But first of all, you have, to track, you have to trust the mixing service, and they might just take off with their coins if they wanted to. And also, if you're trying to tumble a large quantity of coins, and there's only small quantities available to mix with, that's not really effective. And so in comes a bunch of different altcoin contenders, if you will, that are, have heavy focus on privacy and or anonymity. And just to name some of the popular ones, Monero, Dash, Pivx, Verge, Zcash. And I included their logos below. Here's just an overview table of them. Um, and I include the date launch, the current price, current supply, whether there's a total fixed supply to the coins, um, the total market ranking, the lower it is, the bigger market cap it is, and what they were forked from. And so just po feel free to pause the video here and take a closer look for this information. But we're about to dive into each of the particular ones and go over some interesting things about each one. So Monero uses the crypto node protocol. And basically that mixes the sender's public key with other keys. And also they use stealth addresses, one for each transaction. So you're not sending to a public address um, directly, you're sending to a stealth address that's created just for this transaction, and then the person on the other end can grab it in another fashion. They also use something called ring confidential transactions, which is something that allows only the direct parties to see the amounts in a certain transaction. Um, I included some other interesting points below, feel free to read them yourself. Dash uses private send, which mixes coins based on coin join. The mixing is done by masternodes, and they combine identical inputs from multiple different users into one single transaction and splits it into several different outputs going to different places. And it's also interesting because Dash uses a two-tier network with miners and masternodes doing different things. Miners create new blocks, masternodes pre uh, perform these, these specialized functions like private send, etc., and they require 1,000 Dash as collateral in order for you to run one. Dash is also interesting because they have a decentralized governance approach. If, you have, if you're running a master node, you can vote on proposed changes to the protocol 
and also where the ecosystem fund goes. PIVX is um, similar to Dash, but it's building and replacing the CoinJoin, improved CoinJoin protocol with something called the Zero Coin protocol using zero knowledge proofs. This is kind of state of the art, art cryptography, and basically this allows transactions to happen with only revealing publicly that the money was indeed sent or received with no other information. PIVX also uses proof of stake, which means miners are not needed. And there's also no max supply, um, so this, this is an inflationary coin. Verge takes a different approach. They have a different philosophy. They're, they say that they like the fact that Bitcoin has a public ledger because this allows companies to um, transact with, client, with customers. Um, but instead, they focus on anonymity. They don't want your IP addresses to be potentially logged so people can find your identity. Um, so they built in Tor and I2P to protect the user's IP addresses. This is the Onion Router and the Invisible Internet Project. You can look into these, but basically these do a bunch of different relays and bounce your requests all over the world on uh, um, different, um, different servers so they can't tell where their originating request is from. And so they've created a bunch of different uh, Tor and ITP based wallets um, and even for mobile too, they have an Android one. Zcash is one of the latest ones and for this there's two different types of addresses, a transparent one which is kind of like normal and a Z address which is a shielded or zero knowledge address. And so you can choose which one you want to make for your um, for your transaction and your wallet. And their zero knowledge proofs is based on ZK snarks and they basically um, conceal sender and receiver identities and the transaction value and the metadata is encrypted as well if you're using a shielded transaction. And so this is about it. Um, just an overview I wanted to provide of these privacy and anonymity focused crypto coins and just some questions for you. Do you hold any of these? Which one's your favorite? And is there any new thing coming in the space that you're particularly excited about? If so, please leave me a, a comment below. I'd love to hear it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.